excited that you're joining us with us today. We hope you had the best week. Today we're continuing our conversation about fruit of the spirit. Pastor Alicia, tell us what's happening today. Hi Mosaic Kids, my name is Alicia and today we're going to hear a great Bible story about gentleness. We're also going to worship together and do a fun activity. Before we get started, hey Soti, can you remind us of our Mosaic Kids core values? Hi guys, I am Soti. I'm Lucy. And that's Leon. And we love our Mosaic Kids core values. Which one is your favorite? We are strong! Yes, which one is your favorite, Leon? Well, yes, he loves to sing in that. But can we say the Mosaic Kids for values? Yes. We are strong. We are kind. We are creative. And we're generous. Are you guys excited and ready for what we have today? Yes. So let's go. My name is Josiah, and it's time for worship, so stand up and get ready to sing and dance. What is up, Mosaic Kids? We're going to sing a song called King of All, but first, we need to show you some motions. Aaron, can you help me out? You have my heart, oh, all of my life. I will lift your name on high. King of all You are my strength Cause you are my strength The beginning and the end I will seek you every day King of all Alright, you guys got this? Let's do it! You are the song on my lips every morning Cause you are faithful in every way I would declare that your love lasts forever No need to worry, my eyes fixed on you song is called May God Be Everywhere I Go and so we're just asking God to just be with us in everything we do and everything that we face in life. Yeah. 
Because he's always there for us, right? Yes. Yeah. We're going to show you some motions for this song. It goes, your light to guide me, your hands to hold me, your presence when I'm alone, your heart is beating forever with me, your voice will call me home, and then we'll go, may God be everywhere I go. And that's it. All right, can everyone get on their feet? This is a slow song, and I love to just listen to the words of it and put my hands up. So you're welcome to put your hands up with me. I have come alive in the strength of heaven. Eyes are open wide in the light of the sun. fades away till there is none your light to guide me your hands to hold me your presence when I'm alone your heart is beating forever with me your voice will so beautiful guys thank you for worshiping with us wasn't worship so much fun now let's sit down and get ready for the bible story okay mosaic kids it's time for our bible story and we're going to continue in our series on the fruit of the spirit let's see if we can say all of the fruit of the spirit together from galatians 5 verse 22 ready the fruit of the Spirit is love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, and self-control. Good job. Today we're going to hear a Bible story about gentleness with the story of a woman at a well. But I have a special treat for you because I have my friend Estefania here to help me tell the story. Come on in. Hi everyone. Hi. I'm so excited for today's Bible story. Let's get ready to do it. Let's go. One day, Jesus was traveling through a town called Sychar. At about noon, he was tired and sat by a well. He was alone. His disciples had gone into the town to grab food. Then a Samaritan woman 
came to the well to draw water. Jesus asked her, Will you give me a drink? The Samaritan woman said, You are a Jew, I am a Samaritan. How could you ask me for a drink? She said this because Jews aren't normally friends with Samaritans. Jesus said, You don't know what God gives, and you don't know who asked you for a drink. If you knew, you would have asked me, and I would have given you living water. The woman said, Sir, where will you get all this living water? The well is too deep, and you don't have anything to get it out with. Jesus said, Whoever drinks this water will be thirsty again, but whoever drinks my living water will never go thirsty again. The water I give will become a spring of water flowing through him. It will give him eternal life. The woman said, Sir, give me some of this water so I will never have to be thirsty again and I won't have to come back again. Jesus told her, Go get your husband and come back here. The woman answered, But I have no husband. Jesus said, You are right. You have no husband. You have had five, and the man you're living with is not your husband. You are telling the truth. The woman said, Sir, I can see that you are a prophet, and I also know that Christ is coming and will help us and explain everything to us. Then Jesus said, The Christ is talking to you right now. I am he. Just then, his followers came back from town and were surprised to see Jesus talking to a woman. They didn't want to ask why or what was going on. Then the woman left her water jug and went into town and told everyone, I know a man who knows everything I've ever done. Come see him, maybe he is the Christ. So the people left the town and went to see Jesus. Many of them believed in him. They believed because what the woman had said. Wow, I love this story. Today we're gonna to be talking about gentleness. And gentleness means being strong and powerful, but not using it to harm others, but to be compassionate to others. And I love in the story that Jesus is so compassionate and gentle to the woman at the well. Remember in the story where we learn that Jesus is a Jew and the woman is a Samaritan. They're not supposed to be friends, but Jesus talked to her anyway, and he showed her gentleness and compassion. Sometimes it's really hard for us to talk to people that we don't know or that we find that they're different than us. But Jesus gives us courage and strength and gentleness so we can talk to them. Also, the woman went to the well all by herself. She probably didn't have any friends, but Jesus was her friend in that moment. And he gave her a special gift, the gift of living water. Do you know what living water is? Well, we have water that we drink every day. We also have living water that's filled with hope and love and gentleness. And it lasts forever when you follow him. Also, the woman went to the well all by herself. She probably didn't have any friends, but Jesus was her friend in that moment. And he gave her a special gift, the gift of living have you ever received a gift for Christmas or for your birthday and you have all that excitement inside of you? That's exactly what the woman felt. She knew that Jesus knew everything about her, anything she's ever done, and he chose to love her. And Jesus is strong and powerful, but he didn't decide to punish her. He decided to give her gentleness. So the woman went to the town and told everyone about Jesus' love. Mosaic Kids, this week, let's practice gentleness. Gentleness at home with your mom and dad with your words and with your siblings by sharing and being kind to them. Just like in the story where Jesus was so kind to the woman and it spread across the whole town, your gentleness can spread across the entire world. Now let's pray. Dear God, thank you for Mosaic Kids and all of our friends across the world. Thank you for giving us Jesus, that he shows us gentleness every single day and forgives us. Would you help us be more gentle to the people around us so it can spread across the whole world? In Jesus' name, amen. Okay, Mosaic Kids, now it's time for a fun activity. Let's go! For today's challenge, our friend Lincoln is going to face off in an obstacle course against his dad, Emerson. Who do you think is gonna win our challenge? 
If you think Lincoln is going to win, let me hear you cheer. If you think his dad Emerson is gonna win, let me hear you cheer. All right, let's see who wins the challenge. Hi, I'm Lincoln. Hi, I'm Emerson. And today we have a challenge. The challenge is go, to go and race around these cones, there and back. Whoever does it the fastest wins. On your mark, get set, go. Go. Go, 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 go. And back, and back. Who's gonna win? Who's gonna win? Keep going. Keep going. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> I think Lincoln won just by a second. That was such a great tool. Can we thank Pastor Alicia? Yeah. Thank you, Pastor Alicia. Thank you, Pastor Alicia. <laughs> Mosaic Kids, wasn't today so much fun? Let's thank Estefania for that great Bible story. Thank you! Thank you. Remember, be gentle to others, even if they're not gentle to you. Your gentleness will spread Jesus' love around the world. Now, Zoti, can you lead us in a hands-in? Of course, let's do our hands-in. Brooklyn, can you help us? So let's all stand up for your hands. Subscribe to our YouTube channel and give online.